Hello everyone, this is Damon with PixNub Software and in this video I'm going to show you how to install our plugins into Photoshop on a Windows system. This procedure is the same for all versions of Windows. It is also the same for all of our plugins. I'll be demonstrating easy green screen in this video but as mentioned all of our plugins install the exact same way. When you download the um, plugin is going to be in a zip folder. The first thing you need to do is extract the zip file. So you right click and then select extract all. I'll just extract this to my desktop. You can extract it anywhere you want. It really doesn't matter. You just need to know where to find the files. So you can see that there's a new folder on the desktop that's been unzipped. Inside there there'll be a folder called uh, Easy Green Screen 5 Installers or whatever the name of the program is is that you're installing. Under that, there is a Mac installer and a Windows installer. Under the Windows installer, there is all the files um, that need installed as well as an install script. Now this is a Photoshop script. What you do not want to do is just double click to run this script. If you do that, it may or may not install properly and that will be depending on your Windows uh, file associations as well as your user privileges. So that's not how you want to install. What you want to do is open the Photoshop version that you want to install in and run that script from Photoshop. So my start menu looks different than yours will because I've got a third party start menu system. I'll just go to the standard Windows start menu and what you want to do is scroll down and find the Photoshop version you want or you can go into your search and I'll search CC 2017 and very important on some systems you'll need to um, run in administrator mode the first time when you install this that allows Photoshop to copy the files as a general rule if you're on CC 2015.5 or higher and you are the admin user on your computer you won't have to do this but it still doesn't hurt to do that and on a lot of systems you have to so We'll right click and then select run as administrator. Okay, now that we're in Photoshop, we can run that installer script. So you go to file and then scripts and then browse. I'm already in the right location, but you probably won't be when you run that. So you want to find that folder, go into the installers folder, and then you'll see the windows install folder and under that you'll see the file, the, the install script, and in this case it's install easy green screen 5, but it will be named whatever the plugin is that you're installing. So we will load that, and you can enter your license key at the time of install, and it will activate at that same time, or you can install as a trial and then activate later. And so I'll just install as a trial just to demonstrate that. Okay, now it's installed. You see that it's not yet in the menu, and that is because Photoshop indexes its files at startup. So what we'll have to do is restart Photoshop. And you do not need to run as administrator again once you've installed it. So I'll just run normally. Now you see that Easy Green Screen is in the menu. We cannot click on it, nor can we click on anything else because there's no image opened. So I'll open an image here just to demonstrate. Now we've got easy green screen and we can run it. Now since it's in trial mode there's a pop-up window that allows you to continue in trial mode and when you're in trial mode everything is functional but there will be a watermark grid over the image. Or you can activate right from this screen and that's what I'm going to choose to do. So you just enter your license key that you got when you purchased And then you activate. Now I'm just going to exit here and demonstrate that, that now that it's activated, you're not going to get that pop-up window. It just goes straight into the extraction. And once you've activated, there is a um, button called View License. And in that button, you'll see your activation code 
for that particular computer. Now, this code is not the license key. This is not what you use when you activate. What this code is used for is this allows you to activate the same computer as many times as you need to, and it won't double count the activation. So if you reinstall Photoshop, it will recognize your computer by this activation code and allow you to um, reactivate that same computer again without any issues. Now the license key is not displayed here and that is on purpose and the reason for that is if you share your computer you don't want somebody else to get your license key because the license key is what you use to install not this activation code. You can also go in and view your activations and with all of our plugins they can be activated on two computers and you can see that we've got one activation available and one being used and each computer will get its own activation number and as mentioned that activation number allows you to activate that same computer as many times as you need. Now if you ever decide to switch computers or upgrade your computer you can go into transfer activation and if you choose to transfer the activation I'm not going to do it now but what that'll do is that'll remove this activation code from our server and it will free that spot up and allow you to activate it on a different computer. Anyway, thanks for watching and if you're interested in Easy Green Screen, please be sure to visit our website. That is easygreenscreen.com.